The Nigerian army has disclosed new techniques being employed by the Boko Haram group, to evade airstrikes from the Nigerian Air Force. Brigadier General Sani Kashika Usman, Director of Army Public Relations, notified the public of the new development via his Facebook page. We notes that he stated that members of the insurgent group were resorting to roofing their houses and hideouts with a mixture of coated sugar and mud so that the roofs would not reflect when there is sunshine. However, he declared that the army had taken measures to tackle this deception. He stated, the Boko Haram terrorists' tricks of evading air raids have been unraveled by the theater command of Operation La Fayadol combating insurgency in the northeast of Nigeria. The Boko Haram terrorists group has always perfected survival tricks to continue their nefarious activities through enticement, deceit, concealment and outright propaganda. These were decoded through credible intelligence which became imperative for the public to be aware of it. The insurgents deployed special roofing techniques in order to avoid air detection and bombardment from the Nigerian Air Force nah. They resort to roofing their living accommodation and hideouts with a mixture of coated sugar and mud so that the roof will not reflect when there is sunshine. Decisive measures have been taken to deal with this deception. There is no doubt that the main Boko Haram terrorists group factional leader, Abu Bakar Shakal, is in a terrible state of health and not much a threat as he is now a spent horse, waiting for his Waterloo. However, Abu Mazbal Brunei, who has been busy deceiving and recruiting gullible persons especially misguided youths into his fault, will soon be captured. We reliably learned that some misguided persons, particularly youths, are getting conscripted into the sect through enticements. They are usually attracted to the sect because of the deceitful and erroneous impression that Abu Mazbzal Brunei brand of jihad and insurgency is refined and genuine. This is far from it. Both factions are terrorist organizations whose activities constitute crimes against humanity. Their nefarious activities run contrary to the religion of Islam. The faction has recruiters all over the country, especially in the Northeast. However, their clearing house for such conscripts is at Bodiscum, Yobi State. Efforts are ongoing to track those involved. There is no doubt that Mamun Nur al Ghadi has been wounded and he is more or less a cripple since 2014 at Mubai. He was hit by NAF while on motorcycle. He is not a fighter, rather he taught in Boko Haram terrorist enclave, and he is also a member of the Shura Council of the terrorists group. He was wounded along with one Abu Mijahid, an indigene of Samanika, Kudan estate, who was later executed by Abu Bakar Shakal. In view of the above, the general public should be wary of these unscrupulous elements attempting to recruit more youths into their sect. 